XGUML model from scratch. So we start by creating a new XGUML project. We give it a name. We choose a model compiler for it. So I'm going to choose the binary C model compiler. Finish the project. It creates the new project, which I immediately open, and I create two packages. The first package is the components that I'm going to create. This is a library package. And then I will create a system deployment package as well. I enter into the components package and I'm going to add two components. The first one I'm going to call amp for an amplifier and then I'm also going to create a driver component. Next we'll add an interface between the amp and the driver and we'll call it interconnect. We'll add a couple of signals to this first one we'll call stimulus and the second one we will call response. For response we will change the direction instead of being to provider it will be from provider. Next we add the interface references to these components and formalize them to the interface that we've created. One side is the provided, the other side is the required interface. The required interface has a cup shape on the end of it. The provided interface has a ball shape on the end of it. We have the stimulus and response messages but these messages do not have any parameters yet. So let's add parameters size weight and power. We'll make the weight and the power real and we'll leave the size defaulted to the integer type that it defaults to. Let's, re let's return these same parameters on the response message and so we'll copy and paste these parameters from one message to another and save some mouse clicks. So now we have an amplifier component and a driver component with an interface that describes the messages that go between and so now let's enter our system package and connect our system up in a deployment arrangement. So we will go into the components and instead of adding a component, we will add a component reference and assign that component reference 
first this one to the amplifier, we'll create another component reference and assign that to the driver component and now connect these together. And now we have a deployment system with a connected set of components that talk to one another. Let's add one more message to our interface that will allow the system to be initialized. And so we'll call it init and we'll make this a from provider message so that it is initializing. The initialization begins with the amplifier component.